the Lou Holtz Laugh Club, presided over by America's favorite storyteller who says, Girls, believe me, there's not much difference in men. Some just keep their hair longer than others. <laughs> and now, here he is, the chairman of the Laugh Club, Lou Holtz. Thank you, thank you. We seem to have a lot of things to do today, so suppose we get the meeting started right away. Uh, how are you today, Ginger? All right, Mr. Holt, but I did a lot of shopping yesterday, and I'm very disappointed in my girlfriend, Margie. Well, here we go again. All right, Ginger. Will you tell me, why are you disappointed in your girlfriend, Margie? Well, she bought me a lovely gift, and when I went to exchange it, they only gave me a refund of ten ninety-eight. Ten ninety-eight. I don't get it. Well, Mr. Holt, I always thought that Margie was at least a 1598 friend. I see. Anyway, while I was out shopping, I bought Jack Jessup something to wear. Well, that's nice. What did you buy him? Oh, I got him an extra large bath towel. Ginger, you bought him an extra large bath towel? Yes, Mr. Holt. It's just the thing to wear when answering the phone. <laughs> Here's a little story about a man in the South, and he uh, he happens to be a traveling salesman. He's selling a vacuum cleaner. He's going from farmhouse to farmhouse, and he's having no luck. It's raining like mad. He passes a farmhouse. He gets an idea. He gets a handful of mud. A handful of mud goes over the farmhouse. He knocks on the door. says, how do you do? He says, I'm selling the Excelsior vacuum cleaner. Woman says, we don't want it. He says, now, don't make a hasty decision. He said, don't make a hasty decision. Stand by for a demonstration. She says, okay, son, come on in. Goes into the parlor, takes his handful of mud, and he throws it on the carpet. And the woman says, now, what are you doing, boy? She says, any time. He says, now, don't, don't rile. Don't rile. Stand by for a demonstration. When I say demonstration, I mean demonstration. He says, you see this little vacuum cleaner? He says, you see that mud? He said, with one swoop, he says, I'm going to pick up every piece of mud on that carpet. He says, if there's one piece of mud left on that carpet, I'll eat it. The one says, you better start eating, son. We ain't got no electricity here. <laughs> you know, Mr. Holtz, I had a lot of trouble exchanging that gift at Jenkins' department store. Yeah, how come? Because I bought it at the Crange Brothers store. <laughs> well, why didn't you exchange it at the Crange Brothers store? Oh, they have a much nicer exchange department at Jenkins. <laughs> oh, fine. You know, Mr. Holtz, while I was out shopping, I tried to get an alarm clock that would wake up Daddy without waking up the whole family. Well, did you have any luck? No, Mr. Holtz. All they had was the ordinary kind. The ordinary kind? Yes, the kind that wakes up the whole family without waking up Daddy. <laughs> nice family. Meetings adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> 